Hmm, have you noticed? Bad weather for the next few years. The experts are positive. Global warming is due mostly to CO2 generated by oil combustion. But don't give up. We must all react. I, for one, have been helping out over these last 15 years. How? With a touch of silica and quite a lot of brains. Let me explain. Remember, your car runs on fuel and you have to fill it up once in a while. <laughs> but did you know that one tank out of five gets used by tires? One out of five. Did you know that? Yes, tires do burn energy. To understand it, just touch them after a few miles. Ooh, they're hot. They can even reach 80 degrees centigrade if they're underinflated. But where does this heat come from? Simply from the tire's distortion in bends and stress generated at each rotation, each acceleration, and each braking. And if we take a closer look, we can see minute and small but very frequent distortions, exactly where the compound meets the road surface. Therefore, to stick to the road and ensure passenger comfort, a tire is under constant stress. All this generates heat. To understand what goes on, let's zoom into the chemical structure of the compound. What a mess! When the tire rotates, this pack of molecules spends its time distorting, then returning to its initial position. You can imagine easily that during these constant moves, friction is produced between molecules, and they end up by heating. There we are. This loss of energy cannot be avoided. We can reduce it fairly dramatically, though. How? <laughs> First, by changing the components of the compound. In 1992, Mitchell engineers introduced silica into the mix. The result was dramatic. Fuel consumption dropped. Second, and logically, by reducing the tire's weight. Less material distorting equals less heat. The Michelin Energy, the first generation of green tires, became lighter by 2.5 kilograms in 1992. Since then, the diet has gone on. Minus 400 grams today. 820 million liters of fuel. That is the amount of fuel saved every year in the world by cars fitted with Michelin green tires. 820 million liters. Which means we would have needed 28 million trees to absorb the CO2 generated. Well, now you know it all. You and I can go very far if we decide to. Now, it's up to you. Underinflated tires undergo more distortion. Check their inflation pressure regularly. First for safety, obviously, but also to save in two ways. On the one hand, after 45,000 kilometers with Michelin low consumption green tires, you save enough money to buy one new tire. But above all, you generate less CO2 emissions. That's a concrete example of what everyone can do, as we have only one planet. Makes sense, doesn't it? Michelin, a better way forward.